Adding file uploads to your forms is a breeze with Form.io. We currently offer two storage providers you can choose from, Amazon S3 Bucket and Dropbox. File storage with Dropbox is set up quite differently than the S3 Bucket. Users utilizing Dropbox must be authenticated using OAuth and must have an account or shared account with Dropbox in order for file uploads to work. You can find more on file uploads with Dropbox in another video. To set up file storage using an S3 bucket, you must first create an account with Amazon Web Services. Configuring your AWS account will be the most challenging part of this process. Now that you've created your AWS account and signed in, our first step is to create an Identity and Access Management user, or IAM. This enables you to securely control your access and permissions to your S3 bucket for your users. At the top of the page, click Services, then IAM. On the left, click the User tab. Now click the Create New User button. Enter a username such as Upload User and verify that Generate and Access key for each user is checked. This will assure that users will have an access key, allowing them to upload files to your S3 bucket. Click the Create button when done. Make sure to download the credentials, as this will be the only time you have the opportunity to do so. Save the Show User Security Credentials. You're going to need the access key and access ID provided by these credentials within Form.io. Next, go back to the user page within the IAM and click on the user we created. Copy or take note of the user ARN information within the summary section. We're all done here. Now that our IAM is created, we're now going to create our S3 bucket. Head over to the service section in AWS and navigate to the S3 section. Click Create Bucket. Input a bucket name and select your region. Next, click on the bucket name and click the Properties tab at the top right of the screen. Open the Permissions field set. Click Add Bucket Policy and input the following. Here's a closer look at the code we're applying. There are some changes you will need to make in order for the S3 to work with your IAM. Be sure to put your own user ARN from earlier in the principal property. Change the bucket name in both resource properties to your own bucket name. This will allow the user group you created in the IAM to access this S3 bucket. Save your settings. Click Add Cores Configuration. Add the following. This allows browser access to your bucket. Save the core settings and the bucket settings. We're all set in AWS. Your S3 bucket is now configured properly. Finally, we get some Form.io action. Open your project and click on your project settings. Navigate to File Storage, then open the S3 tab. Input the access key ID and secret access key we took note of earlier from our IAM. Add the S3 bucket name to the name field. The bucket URL will auto-populate in the field below. Save your settings. Next, head over to the Forms section and edit the form you wish to apply your file upload to. Click on the Special Component tab on the left and drag a file component onto the form. The settings window will open for the component. Input a label for the component if you want and select S3 from the storage field list. If you have a subfolder within your S3 bucket that you want uploaded files to save to, you can input that folder name in the directory field here. Save the component in form when finished. Now let's test the file component is working. Click the Launch tab and select the form your file upload is saved to. Launch your form externally. 
Upload a file by clicking the Browse button. Users on a tablet or phone viewing this form will have the option to take a picture or video using their device for their upload. Now that our upload is complete, head back over to your S3 bucket. Refresh the page, and you can now see the file in our storage. You're all done here. For any documentation on file storage or additional tutorial videos, visit our user guide. If you have any questions, feel free to drop a line to our support team. We're here to help you. Thank you for using Form.io.